I look at the world of technology in two domains, right. right? There's a technology in the digital world, you know, the world of bits and bytes, where we have in the last 20, 30 years been manipulating bits and bytes to give us all these beautiful devices and allow us to connect with consumers in extremely novel ways. So, um, for instance, you know, uh, digital marketing uh, is a reality. Um, uh, marketing through the uh, marketing through the social media uh, is is a new reality enabled by digital te technology. Then there is technology in the physical space, uh, which is all about atoms, molecules, genomics. You know, mm -hmm. the living and the inert world, the physical world, and so of course there. Uh, you know, we, we do huge amount of work uh, leveraging technology for packaging, for uh, whether that is light weighting, you know, polymer science, for instance, to further lightweight the packaging, uh, polymer science to have uh, bio-based packaging, you know, that's made from plants rather than from, uh, from fossil fuel. By the way, we're changing the entire industry in that space. And um, yeah, and soon looking, looking ahead, uh, it's not going to be that far out that we will talk about personalized beverages uh, based on uh, you know people's personal genes because for $99 today you can know how your body is made and um, and with these type of devices you know that track your physical movement um, or inactivity for that matter you know you can also uh, soon um, track the hydration in your body. So I'm hydrated, I'm dehydrated, I need to replenish uh, and I want to be replenished in a certain way. That's going to come more and more towards personalization. You know, we think in, in environment more and more um, in terms of closed loop. Right? We need to come to solutions because we live in a world that is it's a circle, right? Mm -hmm. So everything that you take eventually comes you know, it stays around. It's, it's, it's in, it, it, nothing comes in, nothing comes out, other than solar power. So we leverage the solar power. You know, and that is for free. But you know, water, um, power, you know, ma packaging material, anything eventually has to. We have to think in closed loop systems. I'm very proud and happy to say that in water, we are already there, right? In India, uh, uh, and our effort is on to by 2020 globally globally to be water neutral. So every, all, everything we take, we give back. Not directly through our own operations, but through partnership with NGOs and, and, and government organizations and so forth. So actually, frankly speaking, there is no other company that I know of that has made that public commitment and has so many programs in so many countries around the world. We have close to 300 programs around the world to live up to that commitment. So we, the, the, the biggest task we have at the moment is making that known to, you know, to the wider world, the, the leadership position we have taken and the actions we undertake, and that it is for real, right? So long, we're going to get there longer term, I think uh, our consumers will see uh, what we do, that we have taken the leadership position and are executing on it. Um, so where, from where I sit, mm -hmm. the water reputation uh, that we have um, is probably not the biggest issue. Okay. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean that we don't have that we don't have. Uh, um, I mean that we are not. Um, yeah. That, that we, we we sense it, of course, you know, um, and we participate in the dialogue. But we have all the proof points and tools to to, to talk about this confidently. From a technology point of view, we're ready. Whenever the consumer is ready, we're ready.